The fastest way to grow a YouTube channel is by uploading YouTube Shorts, and in this video you're gonna learn how to create YouTube Shorts fast with one free AI tool. You don't need ChatGPT to write the script or CapCut to create the captions as this tool will do all that alongside the video creation and the voiceover. I'll demonstrate it with two niches in this tutorial, but it can be applied to numerous other niches, so let's begin with the research phase. This channel is in the animal niche, and they make videos on facts about animals or mind-blowing facts about so-and-so birds. And according to Social Blade, they've gotten over 43 million views in the last 30 days with 163k subscribers. Apparently, they started uploading a lot of shorts in April this year, and some of their videos went viral since YouTube is competing with TikTok on short-form content these days. But because this channel is in Hindi language and the CPM on short videos can be as low as two cents, I estimate that they may be making just $800 to $1,000 monthly, which is still a lot for videos that could take as little as one minute to create. But I'll show you what they could have done to make a lot more than this in a bit. Here is another channel in the history niche that makes videos on historical facts about past figures or past events and also pulls in over 16 million views in the past 30 days, which is more than the requirement for you to get monetized with shorts. Their upload is twice as much as that of the previous channel and appears to have been doing this for over five months. It's in English and may be earning a little over $1,000 per month, which is also not bad since you could have many of these channels making you money. The tool we'll be using to create these videos is called Flicky which has a feature known as Idea to Video. It's completely free to use, and I'll drop the link for you to sign up in the description below. You can start by creating a new project, give it a name you like, and choose from over 70 languages on this dropdown. Then leave it on the Video option and click on Create. You need to, first of all, set it to match a short style by tweaking some settings. On this dropdown, I will select the Portrait Dimension, which is the standard for YouTube Shorts. Then leave these boxes checked and choose where to place the captions which I prefer to be at the center. The two fonts I like here are Josephine Sands and Lixand, so I'll choose one of them and set the subtitle display to Word, which will show the captions word for word. You can choose a color you like for the captions and click on Save to continue. To start creating the shorts, click on Convert at the upper right corner and select Idea to Video. Then input your topic and the description in this box like I did by asking it to write about crazy animal facts and specifically about big cats. Leave it on the short option and click on Submit. And as you can see, it has created the short by writing the script and finding the visuals that match the scenes. However, you may want to take it a step further by adding more scenes to it. So I'll do that by deleting the first block, which is the file name, and removing the description from the title. Then if you look at this intro, you'll notice that this is useful for long videos and not for shorts. So I'll delete it as well and repeat the same for the outro. Then I'd like to break this block into three by clicking on the plus icon twice and copying and pasting the sentences into the blocks, which will add more scenes to our short. I'll repeat the same for the other two blocks, then go to the blocks without video and click on auto pick video on the canvas. With this feature, the Flicky AI will choose a clip that it thinks matches the text in the block. And so I'll do the same for other blocks as well. However, if there is not enough context for the AI, it may pick a random clip, so you can either add a keyword to the text or simply click on the thumbnail and search for the video clip you want at the top. You'll see a lot of options to choose from, and I'll finish it off either by using the auto pick feature or by finding it in the stock library. Now the next step is the voiceover, which you can add by clicking on Sarah and listening to the voices to choose one you like. I'll select Davis for this short and apply it to all of the scenes. Three crazy animal facts you didn't know about. You may play the scenes to see how it looks if you wish, but I'm going to export it at the top. It may take a few minutes to process, but the beauty is that you can close it and you'll be notified via your email when it's done, so we can start a new project to create the second video. Similar to what we did earlier, I'll set the aspect ratio to portrait, place the captions in the middle, and for the font, I'll choose Josephine Sans for this second short. Then I'll set the subtitle display to Word change the color to yellow, and hit save to continue. In the idea to video section, I'll input a topic on history, maybe something like weird historical facts about America, then click on submit. So Flicky has created the second short for us, and just as we did for the first one, I'm gonna remove the title block and delete the outro. Then I'll delete some part of the second block, which is the intro, and I don't like the way it says finally at the end, which is actually a good approach, but it's better for some types of videos I will share with you in a while. And also, a simple but effective hack you can use for your shorts is to make the end looped with the start. So I may add a phrase like, 
Do you know this at the end? You will see the result in a while, so let's move ahead to break the blocks into two or three, depending on the length. Then I'll add relevant clips to them either by selecting the one I like in the stock library or by using the auto pick feature. And note that if you can't find a free video clip for your keyword, you can also choose images, and a zoom effect will be applied to them. So I'll add a voiceover as we did before. And for this one, we can choose a British accent since we have a myriad of options to choose from. I'll export and play the two videos, but don't go yet as I'll show you how you can make more money with this. Weird historical facts about America. Did you know that in 1922, the US government actually outlawed the use of tomatoes in the production of ketchup? Due to a bizarre fear that they were poisonous? Talk about playing ketchup with the times. Zoom in on Benjamin Franklin, who we all know as a founding father, but did you know he was also the first to suggest daylight saving time? Franklin thought that waking up earlier would save on candle usage. Now that's what we call a bright idea. How about a presidential quirk? Thomas Jefferson had a pet mockingbird named Dick. Who would follow him around the White House, even attending important meetings? Just imagine the tweets coming from that room. Did you know this? Weird historical facts about America. Did you know that in 1922? I hope you noticed the loop I was referring to. And as simple as it was, it makes people watch your shorts over again without realizing it, which makes it get recommended more. So let's play the first short. Three crazy animal facts you didn't know about. Did you know that a tiger's roar can be heard up to three kilometers away? That's right. These fearsome felines use their powerful lungs to communicate with other tigers and mark their territory. So, if you ever find yourself near a roaring tiger, you might want to keep your distance. Now, let's talk about the cheetahs, the fastest land animal on the planet. They can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour in just a few seconds. However, what's even more fascinating is their ability to accelerate faster than a sports car, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Talk about speedy. And finally, we have the elusive snow leopard. These rare beauties live in the harsh, mountainous regions of Central Asia. And their incredible adaptation to their environment allows them to scale steep cliffs with ease. Their long, fluffy tails not only keep them warm, but also act as a counterbalance, providing extra stability during their gravity-defying climbs. Of course you could edit it to be more perfect as you can see that there are video clips showing twice as I was rushing through it and couldn't find free clips to use. But if you upgrade to the standard plan which goes for $21 per month, you will be able to choose from millions of premium videos and images that will accurately represent your keywords, and that will take me to the tips I have for you. You see what this channel with a lot of views on their shorts and subscribers should do now is to start creating long videos because that's where the real money is. And there's a channel here called Animal Facts that is doing exactly that. They are posting a mix of short form and long form videos. And even if their long videos are getting lesser views, a thousand views on them can be more profitable than a hundred thousand views on a short. And I'm sure the second channel understood this very well as it seems they grew their channel a lot faster with shorts. But that didn't stop them from uploading long videos, so they will make much more money than the first channel. So what do you do now? Well, you can still create long videos with Flicky in one go, following the same steps in this video. Using our first video as an example, instead of the short 1 minute video, you can choose medium, which is 5 minutes or long, which is 10 minutes depending on how long you want the video to be. And instead of 3 crazy animal facts, you can ask it to write 13 animal facts, and you would want to include more animal species, like birds, reptiles, and so on. And in this case, you don't need to delete the intro and outro, or remove concluding parts like finally as I did the other time because that will be useful for long videos. Also, you may or may not break the blocks into smaller chunks depending on how fast you want the scenes to change. However, you may need the Flicky standard plan to be able to choose more high-quality video clips and better voiceovers, which will make your videos look better. I'll drop the link below for you to start for free and to create the thumbnail and do the SEO for long videos. You can watch this video where I showed you how I do that. And if you learn one or two things from this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.